guys. Hi, Jocko. Hi, Francis. Hi. Hey, Ashley. You both, you, both, you both look nice. I'm doing good. I love your background. We're all in the floral department, right? Yeah. <laughs> plants. Let it I grow. To Let it breathe. I love to see <laughs> Okay, look, you two are coming in hot this season. You have the fans and the viewers like, okay, what is really going on? Especially the upcoming episode. But I'm not going to say anything because that hasn't aired yet. Um, Jocko, Dr. Reynolds returned earlier this season. Um, you're no longer engaged. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Francis, your character, Dr. Malbo, is a new addition to the New Amsterdam team as the head of the OB and there may or may not be, or at least it appears to be something brewing between Dr. Malvo and Dr. Reynolds. I don't know. That's why we're here today. You have to break it <laughs> <laughs> um, Jocko, New Amsterdam continues to tackle, you know, these real life issues, especially this season from systemic racism to um, the pandemic, you guys are not afraid and do not shy away from talking about what's going on in the real world. How has this season, filming this season, been different from you from the previous two seasons? Well, uh, first and foremost, the, the thing that stands out the most is the, is the fact that we're, com <clears throat> we're coming off of this horrible pandemic. And uh, a lot of uh, things have happened. The world seems to be on the, the path of some sort of change. Uh, through po protests, uh, through the voices in the streets, um, through the uh, you know Black Lives Matter, um, with the, the death of, of George Floyd, so um, it just simultaneously coincided with all of these uh, events in the country that sort of have been in, in one way ripping the country apart and in other ways bringing us together, and so they were very relevant. And uh, it just, you know, makes me to be happy uh, and, and proud to be a part of something like this, particularly a show where we're going to touch on these things. And, and also what's a little bit different this season, um, we have some episodes where we hit you, I, you know, I'm not going to lie, we hit you over the head with it uh, because we, that's, that's what we need in this day and age a lot of times. But we had some, some lighthearted moments. Uh, the fact that Max attempted to end racism uh, in one way was to paint a Black Lives Matter sign uh, in the middle of the floor. And then uh, the Black character, myself, Dr. Reynolds, walks in and, and ironically slips on the sign <laughs> and falls and, and hurts himself. And, uh, and, and I'm, I look at Max and I'm like, you're, you're trying to end racism with paint. Like, what's, what's going on here? What are you going to really do about what's going on here? Like the fact that Black doctors get paid 35% less than white doctors do. So in good New Amsterdam form, the writers are, are still hitting you with these little gems of information and these facts, uh, but we try to keep it lighthearted whenever we can. So I see that that's, a, that's an interesting change this season as well. You guys are dropping the gems and educating folks, I will say. I mean, it's an educational form or tool for people to tune in and watch. Um, Francis, we are introduced to your beautiful character. You look so gorgeous, even in your even in your white coat. You look gorgeous. We're introduced to your character, Dr. Malvo, in the eighth episode entitled "Catch." I have to ask you, what is her backstory? What 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 information were you provided to build off of for this character? What I knew is exactly what you guys saw. <laughs> She's an OB. Mm -hmm. um, She's an OBGYN, she runs the department, and I knew that, you know, she was going to meet this guy, and they were going to kind of butt heads at first, but what I found really, and then I knew at the end that she was wearing, she had a ring, I didn't know what that actually meant um, for her and for them, <laughs> so um but what I really did love about it was I loved like they that initially there was a little bit of a friction between them. But what really intrigued me was in the surgery, like the way that she takes care of him, kind of when she sees that he's struggling a little bit, like it's kind of new territory for him or brings up old territory with losing a, a, a fetus during uh, losing the baby during the residency. And um, I just love that. I love that she like tried to take care of him in that moment to play music and then you know they have more in common than they realize so Ooh, okay <laughs> now giving us a lot there Jocko okay talk to us about this upcoming episode again I'm not gonna talk to, I don't want to spill anything but can you tease because there is this moment that happens and 
I'm left like, okay, what's going on? Okay, what, what, what do we have here? You guys, what, what can you tell us about what's to come? In this situationship, friendship, budding relationship, what's going on with you two? Talk to us. Is it is, is can we still use entanglement or was that? Oh, wait a minute. No, can I'm we kidding. say no, I'm just kidding. Oh. I'm just kidding. Not no, no, I, it because it, it feels like that because you know what I like with, with the two characters is the fact that there is a shift in power constantly. Right. Like when we first meet, you know, I go into her territory, right? Mm-hmm. And and she's like you know, she says, this is how I handle things around here. And you guys should have been handling it that way. And this is what it is. And she gave a prediction as to what was going on with the, with our patient. And she was she correct. Was right. and, then, and then we go back. Yeah. Right. And then we go into my territory, uh, in the OR. Um, but then again, you know, it shifts again when I start to, you know, be a little, uh, out of place with the situation. So she's there, like she said, to comfort me and have the music and, and that felt good. But then I, I noticed another power shift once she explains our situation. Mm. You know, once she explains her situation to Reynolds and like, look, I'm uh, as we saw in the past episode, right. I'm, I'm I'm I am married. Yes. Uh, and we have this arrangement. We have this agreement. And at that point, the ball is in Reynolds court. Right. right. So he, he can do what he wants with it. And he decides to more or less walk away. Mm-hmm. And so what we have in this upcoming episode, you have something similar. Again, it's just this power shift back and forth. I mean, uh, who's going to make a move? Who's going to walk away? And uh, I think we're, 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 we'll be glad to know that we get to see that played out all the way through the end of the season. Like, it's just, it, it, it gets wild. We're going to be on our heart strings, right? Y'all going to be our emotions, basically. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's great to see uh, <laughs> Black characters um in in something interesting on a predominantly white show or what i would call a mainstream show you know it's uh it's usually uh the the non-black characters that get to have sort of this sort of fun and this this attention but uh when i read this um moving forward i i i was really pleased with the writers for being that courageous as they are these are the most courageous writers in television uh tackling all of these issues but to uh not be afraid to see uh, that black people uh, get involved in situations as well. You know? And what, so I, it's, it's what I really love, Jocko, is that like mm-hmm. Reynolds, it's fun kind of watching him be, uh, he's kind of like knocked off his square a little with Mel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's not like the like really confident guy that like we're used to seeing and you, right. yeah. yeah and you it's like you're constantly like in the moments where we're not talking like where he's just looking at Malva like you it's like you kind of see him thinking like could this be my person is this that but there's mm. other situation like he, he's trying to figure it out because it, it's almost like okay if you meet the person that you might think is the one mm. but then there's another like what do you do with that you know right so I love right. that he's not as assured in the situation, even though he might walk away, like they still hang out because you just didn't come inside. Right. <laughs> we still right. went for drinks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a, yeah. Francis, before I let you guys go, what do you hope as people are introduced and learning more about your character? What do you hope people learn from Dr. Malvo? Um, you know, that it's okay to be uh, confident mm. and good at what you do. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't also be vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't be soft because I love in the moments with him, like she's 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 soft, but when she's in the when she's in the surgery and she needs to take over, she gets right to it. She doesn't get hysterical about it. She knows what's and it's okay to be both. And I think a lot of times as women, um, especially black women on TV, is like we're not you don't often get the chance to be like three dimensional in that way. So that was something that I really wanted to make sure was there and it's in the writing, but I wanted to make sure that I bought that especially as well. Cause we're not the same with everyone, you know? Right. Right. So I love that. I love that she gets to be vulnerable with him and have that moment of like a little bit of egg on her face and like embarrassment. And he kind of rescues her from that. And right. those are the ways people get closer. So I love it. I love, I'm rooting for it. Let's call the name. You know, we had Tom Cat. What, what are you guys? We had Kim Ye. What are we gonna name you guys? We need a name. Oh, yeah, we. I, some somebody said something. I haven't even. Did, you have, did anybody hit you with a name yet, Francis? What's our name? I saw 
I saw uh, Flynn. You saw, was it? Flynn. Oh. Flynn. Flynn. Okay, Flynn. yeah, Flynn. Flynn. Flynn Malvo. Okay, okay. Flynn. Yeah, or, or the uh, uh, Ralvo doesn't work. We got to work on that one. Yeah. Actually. The next it's time. It's about we, time. We, yeah. Yeah. When y'all come back, we need a name. We need a yeah, name. Let's get do. that on. Look, yeah. I have a better sense of where this is going. <laughs> right, right, right. Look, I'm just excited for this black love or potential black love that's being displayed on this screen. I'm look, I'm here for it. Thank you guys. I'm so excited to see what Thank happens you. next. Y'all I always love talking to you. Francis, you are absolutely gorgeous. Love Thank seeing you. you on screen. Thank you both. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Where is the buzz? Oh, yeah. Where is the buzz? You said we used to be a mine, mine. Where is the buzz? <laughs>